welcome back to my channel EKD Ideas and So today I am going to show you how to make a DIY infinity cube but today I am going to do it like a giant version of the infinity cube So I am taking 4 cm as the size and the items needed are tape, pencil skate, some color paper A4 sheet or a normal paper a cutter or a scissor and also you need some cello tape or glue so I am going to choose 4 centimeters and make a square equivalent to all so for this one I am just drawing an outline of the cube oh, and then I am going to cut it out and form like into a cube So I have marked out 4 cm in the ruler with a pencil and let's draw the 4 cm outline of the square. So I have already prepared 7 pieces of cubes so totally we need 8 pieces of cubes. I have already prepared 1 piece of cubes. 7 piece of cube and now I am preparing a 1 piece of cube. So let's see how to make that cube. So you can take any centimeter like 1 centimeter, 2 centimeter, 3 centimeter, 4 centimeter, 5 centimeter, 6 centimeter. So my giant version came a little bit like a medium sized one. I thought to make it like giant. And I think if I use some 8 centimeters for each square, it will come like giant. So this is like a medium size, not too big or not too small. So like that. This is all. If you want, you can paint that paper. I'm just attaching in some colored paper with some tape or you can use glue to attach it so I am just attaching it in like four sides of fit only so this is the outline you are going to follow like a normal cube outline and so if you go to google and search for cube making outline it will just show you some images you can just trace that or draw that and just cut it into 8 pieces and then attach it with tape how we normally make like a cube and now we will get like a cube and then after attaching in all the 8 cubes I am going to show you how to attach all the 8 cubes so that it can bend so for attaching all the 8 cubes you don't want to use glue otherwise it will not bend or anything else so you, you need to use cello tape so I am just drawing the square for a long time like 3 minutes so now you need to work on 8 squares in total So you can choose whatever centimeter you want and just go with it for all the squares. So it should be like uh, all the squares should be in the equal size not one like 5 centimeters another like 3 centimeter, 2 centimeter, 4 centimeter like that or should be 4 centimeter in each side. side. So now I am cutting the paper. Not wrong. So if you see some, so you can even use scissors or a box cutter for this part. I am just using a box cutter. 
told you to always square on your arm the way through on making a infinity cube. So now I'm going to turn it into a cube. Cube by attaching all the sides of the paper. So we turn that one into a cube by attaching some strips of tape. So you can even use glue for this part. But for the next part, so now I have four of these color paper, two red and two purpley pink, light purple, but also dark at the same time. And now I have all the eight cubes and I accidentally made one cube bigger so I am just going to remake it again and so the last one is like the bigger one last two are sorry so I have just noticed it after I have attached the tape but I still that I did not notice that hide difference at all while attaching the tape only I just noticed it so now I'm going to change the cube size of the bigger one so I got an another cube so done so I'm going to attach both the so we totally have eight cubes right so take two on each row like two two like so then then cover the a paper with one or two strips of paper not more than two otherwise it will be firm so that it won't move like that I suggest you to I just put, put on tape two layers of tape so I try to put one mm, cube alone like three layers of tape and it was not bending so I ended up cutting the tape so So this is how you can make your infinity cube. This is the step one of making the infinity cube. So I also attached all the three pieces. Like now it can just bend. So I am just trying to demonstrate that the cube can bend. So the next step is to attach all the four cubes. Oops, so you need to apply the tape in the center of each row. So I am going to attach it. So I forgot it and went out of camera. So I am going to in stick it in the middle of the two pieces so I am attaching the tape so you need to do the same for that one to the second row to so now this cube can bend so First of all, you need to check if your cube can bend or not before attaching. After attaching the tape, so that it will be a lot more easier. So I check that so it can bend. So like 
I'm just checking that you can bend now. So the second step is like to attach both rows of the cube into one row. Like one row means one thicker row, one big row or so I'm going to take some tape and stick it right on the side corners, the border corners is attaching. So we got our infinity cube. So you need to attach another side like if you turn it into like a square you will get like some moving so you need to take that one out at first take tape will be somewhere stuck so i got in the first cubes hope the tape was stuck somewhere so i had to figure out where it got stuck and I figured it out again. So now our infinity cube is all done. So I'm going to attach in colored paper in where the square is forming. So you can paint it or or attach colored paper in every side. So this is where I attach the colored paper. So, if you like this video, give this video a like, share, subscribe and click the bell icon so that you won't miss my photo new updates in my channel, EKD Ideas and Dreams. And thanks for watching. Bye.